Welcome to Communication Engineering Playlist. Here in this session, I'll be going to explain you two-stage SSBSC modulator. So before I explain two-stage SSBSC modulator, let us have a few basics regarding two-stage SSBSC modulator. Why do we need to have two-stage SSBSC modulator first of all? Like see, when you have one-stage SSBSC modulator, what happens is when you have that one stage SSBSC modulator at that time complexity of circuit that is based on band pass filter so it is very difficult to design band pass filter and usually we convert modulating signal low frequency signal into high frequency signal so if frequency translation that is very high in terms of carrier signal at that time if we use one stage SSBSC modulator at that time cost of circuit is very high and designing of band pass filter is very complex. So what we can do is we can reduce cost of circuit by bisecting modulation process in two parts where what we can do is we can translate frequency of modulating signal to one stage and again from one stage to second stage we can further translate that signal so that cost of signal so cost of system will reduce so ultimately one should understand like when we have ssbsc generation and if frequency is very high carrier carrier signal frequency is very high in that case if you do one stage modulation then it will be very complex as well as costly so if you bisect that into two parts, your complexity will decrease as well as cost of filter will be low. So that is what the basic agenda behind two stage SSBSC modulator. So process is same, but we provide reduction in cost. So that process that I'll be explaining now, like see one can see one stage of SSBSC is over here. Then after the second stage of SSBSC is over here. So we translate low frequency modulating signal to high frequency modul modulated signal after two stage. We can have it by one stage only, but at that time cost of circuit will be very high. Designing of band pass filter will be very costly. So that is what we are avoiding by providing two stage SSBSC modulator. So step by step I will show you by frequency response how things are happening and how we can design it. So here we have message signal xt and let us say this message signal is having frequency from f to f dash. Now we multiply these two signal carrier signal and carrier signal 1 and modulating signal. So we will be having one more signal let us say it is x1t. So if that signal is x1t after product modulator 1 then its frequency response that will be associated with the center frequency omega c 1. So here if I say xt1 frequency response that I want to plot the xt1 frequency response that will be associated with center frequency fc1 and around that this frequency response will get merged. So you will be finding this will be the frequency response where this will be fc1 plus f and this one will be fc1 plus f dash while this will be fc1 minus f and this frequency that will be fc1 minus f dash so that is how frequency response will be there and similar replica that will be over here minus fc1 and I am not mentioning frequency you can easily understand it that is how frequency response will be there. Now once you pass it through band pass filter there will be only either upper side band either lower side band. Here I will be considering this upper side band this is USB upper side band of first stage. So if I focus over here on this upper side band only. So if I pass upper side band through band pass filter 
and at that time this component only will be available over here now again what i am doing is i am just passing that signal through product modulator with carrier signal 2 so over here if i say i have second signal and that second signal is let us say x to t so if i pass it through second signal x to t by product modulator 2 then now after having further multiplication with this there will be x to t and now that is having center frequency now that will be having center frequency that will be fc1 sorry that will be having center frequency that is fc2 and there will be again upper side band and lower side band so this will be upper side band and this will be lower side band that is what one can see so that is having minus fc to center frequency and again upper and lower side band will appear like this and minimum frequency for that upper side band that will be fc2 plus fc1 plus f that is what minimum frequency and maximum frequency that is this that will be fc2 plus fc1 plus f dash so that is how it will appear and similarly for lower side band after product modulator 2 you will be finding it it will be fc2 minus sorry plus fc1 minus this that is f and over here it will be fc2 plus fc1 minus f dash so that is how frequency response that will appear so this will be output of product modulator 2 now again what we do is we pass it through bandpass filter 2 so as if you pass it through bandpass filter 2 you will be finding this is only the frequency which will appear at output side so this is what only the frequency that will appear at output side so ultimately after passing through second bandpass filter you will be finding this response is only available and that is this frequency response that is fc2 plus fc1 plus f2 fc2 plus fc1 plus f dash with center frequency fc2 so here what we do is we translate low frequency signal to fc1 frequency signal first and fc1 frequency signal to fc2 frequency signal obviously where fc1 frequency signal that is lower than fc2 frequency signal so if you do that directly to fc2 frequency signal then cost of circuit will be high but as if you make it to two stage cost of circuit will be low i'll give you one example like say in one radio receiver if you translate frequency of voice signal into 600 megahertz by having ssbsc then that cost of circuit that is somewhat around 10000 rupees right but if you make it by two stage one stage is translating up to 400 megahertz and second stage is translating from 400 to 600 megahertz then 400 megahertz translation is costing around 2000 rupees and 400 to 600 is costing around 3000 rupees so it will be around 5000 rupees which is what lower than 10000 rupees so that is how we are reducing that circuit cost by translating ssbsc generation in two parts and that is how one can have frequency response so if you need to translate it to very high frequency then it will be having multiple stages that one can have but here there are a few problems when you design it in that way one is you need to have multiple circuits obviously 
more number of stages are there more number of filters are required and you will be finding y signal is very low frequency signal so that has to have somewhat guard band so this guard band that will be always issue when you design it for low frequency signal so low frequency signal should have guard band so this is what guard band right so here lowest frequency that we are saying like f then guard band that should be of at least 2f here for this case here it is what f with respect to center so guard band that should of 2f then only we can design it properly so this is what we need to concern that is for one stage e1 and for two stage e1 same criteria is there but you will be finding number of stages are increasing so calculation as well as designing complexity will increase so always one thing that we need to understand SSBSC generation is having so many advantages like power transmission is reducing bandwidth is minimum it is what only the bandwidth which is what there with modulating signal so these are the advantages but disadvantages are like complexity cost so that is what increasing and main problem that is associated with designing of band pass filter so this is what we need to understand and these are the drawbacks as well as advantages that is there with SSBSC generation. In next few sessions, I'll explain how we can generate SSBSC signal by multiple ways. So we'll be finding multiple ways to design SSBSC signal, modulate SSBSC signal in next few sessions. And after that, I'll solve few examples, which will be very helpful to you to understand like how SSBSC is important. Thank you so much for watching this video. You can suggest me all those things which is required here to complete communication engineering definitely i'll take your comments in my to-do list and i'll make out sessions based on needs which is there with students thank you so much for watching this video